Professor Dave and Chegg here. We know that compounds contain atoms of more than one element, and there are different ways of describing the composition of any compound. We could talk about the ratios of the elements in terms of number of atoms, but we could also talk about their ratios in terms of mass. This latter concept is called the percent composition of a compound, and it has some important applications. So let's learn how to calculate percent composition and what some of its applications are. As we just mentioned, the percent composition of a compound refers to the percent of the molecular mass that is represented by each element in a compound. This is a rather straightforward calculation, so let's go through a few examples and make sure everything is extremely clear. Percent composition is easy to calculate if we know the molecular formula of a compound because we can then know the molecular mass. If we know the molecular mass, we can just find the fraction of the molecular mass that is contributed by each element. Let's say we want to know the percent composition of ammonia. We know that ammonia has a molecular mass of 17 atomic mass units because the nitrogen atom has a mass of 14 atomic mass units, and each hydrogen atom has a mass of one atomic mass unit, for a total of 17. We can simply calculate the mass of each element present in the compound over the total mass of the compound to get the percent composition of the compound. If one nitrogen atom is 14, then 14 over 17 will give us 0.82, which times 100 gives us 82%. This means that the nitrogen atom in ammonia represents 82% of the mass of the molecule. The three hydrogen atoms have a total mass of 3, and 3 over 17 gives us 0.18. Multiplying by 100, that gives us 18%, so hydrogen represents 18% of the mass of the molecule. And 82% plus 18% does add up to 100%, so these calculations do make sense. So this is the percent composition of ammonia. Let's try another example. Aspirin has the chemical formula C9H8O4. What is the percent composition of this compound? Once again, to answer this, we just find the percentage of the total molecular mass that each element is contributing. If we add up all of the atomic masses and multiply them by their respective subscripts, we find that the molecular mass of aspirin will be 180 atomic mass units. So this is the total mass we will divide each number by. 9 carbon atoms times 12 atomic mass units per carbon gives us 108. 108 over 180 times 100 gives 60% for carbon. 8 hydrogen atoms times 1 atomic mass unit per hydrogen gives us 8. 8 over 180 times 100 gives us 4.4% for hydrogen. And 4 oxygens times 16 atomic mass units per oxygen gives us 64. 64 over 180 times 100 gives us 35.6% for oxygen. This is the percent composition of aspirin, and the three numbers do add up to 100%, so we know we did this correctly. As we can see, calculating the percent composition of a compound is extremely straightforward if we know its chemical formula and the atomic masses of all the elements contained within it. This information has a number of applications, so let's continue learning some chemistry concepts so that we can see what those will be. Professor Dave for Chegg. See you next time.